Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster of whiskey.com. <laughs> and today we have a wonderful bottle, Beaumont, 21 years old. And uh, <laughs> when it comes in the excellent or in a good uh, packaging, I always leave the packaging on so that we have a uh, unfolding experience. And you wanted to say 25. And the 21 is kind of an exceptional one. I think it's a limited edition. Do you want to show it close? Okay, it's a bit tall. Yeah. And here you can see it's 48.4 ABV. Priced around 200. So it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. And here's the packaging. Here's the bottle. That's a standard uh, Bumor bottle. Mm -hmm. And uh, the specialty of this one is it's matured in, in French wine casks. So those typical French brick wine casks have 240 to uh, up to 250 liters. And what are you looking for? I just wanted to show it in detail. <laughs> <laughs> so they they ride on this French oak brick, mm -hmm. Chateau Lagrange. First fill Chateau Lagrange Grand Cru Classé Brique, creating layers of refused fruit and honey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've French never had any French in school. <laughs> French is improvable. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought it was really good. So these, uh, <laughs> these uh, uh, Premier Cru Classé means that there had been an, uh, an auction in 1850, 1860 something. And from these chateaux, which means bodegas, which mean wine uh, cellars, uh, they received the highest bids for their wines and that made those uh, premier crews and uh, all premier grand but they say grand what did they say grand grand cru classé classé <laughs> is there a difference between premier grand cru or deuxième treizième quatrième cinquième so they had the prices <laughs> in their auction ah okay but what they had in those years is different to what they have now. <laughs> so this is just an ancient uh, saying about that, that wine. Mm. It does not mean that they have 99 Parker points, something. Mm. It must not be. Mm -hmm. One more. Light smokiness. Mm. I'm afraid this one might be a little bit too cold. Think so? Mm. Might be. Not quite sure. Mm. So it's 18. 15. I think it's already room temperature. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I have one of the old glasses. <sighs> so this one has decent smoke. Yeah, really. And typically the older a whiskey matures the less the smoke impact is because these unoxidized phenolic content uh, does oxidize over the years when the oxygen from the air uh, breathes into the casks and out of the cast due to temperature changes and with this oxygen it, the phenols oxidize and then they have a different smell this is quite intense for a 21 year old mm -hmm. you know, it takes a time and below that some some red fruits and yeah that's tobacco that's not burnt mm -hmm. tobacco but uh, say a tobacco tin Mm -hmm. where pipe smokers get their tobacco from. So this fermented tobacco. Yeah, your turn. 
So for me, it's a, a little bit different. Yes, I do have smoke. And that smoke is kind of a mixture between a marine smoke, or very, very little phenolic, and a bit of a cigar smoke, I would say. Yes, tobacco, but I would say, yeah, maybe smoke, maybe not smoked. T together with some, I don't know, is that plum juice, plum syrup, dried plums, or very ripe plums, so mm -hmm. together yeah. with some, some berries. So yeah, depends on, so what, what would you consider the smoke? So I now put my nose deeper mm. into the glass and now I find that really smoke. Mm. So I kept my nose a little bit far away and there I had this phenolic, yeah, it's but, but deep into you have this really burnt smoke. Burnt smoke, yes. It's a, definitely a, a different kind of smoke. It's not that normal phenolic, very dry smoke, but it's a it's a very intriguing, very integrated into that fruitiness yeah. smoke. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm you take me in zoom <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it's quite hefty it's 48.4 so that ha has an impact with that impact comes the smoke comes the cladding and a juicy note of these yeah red berries red wine coming with uh, you might count that as plums yeah and in the aftertaste, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of praline, or probably a little bit of marzipan, nuttiness. So the aftertaste is, mm. is complex and long. Mm. 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 Complex is the right word. There's a bit in from everything. There is a little bit of, uh, not a little bit of, there's a small amount of smoke. There is nice, fruits mixed between berries dried a little bit of a chocolate thing going on a little bit of a nuttiness thing going on also a little bit of an oak thing going on now it's getting drier and a little bit more bitterness so this is a very complex whiskey mm, very very complex whiskey there's this is a a totally expert whiskey where you can sit down in the evening and have a mm -hmm. have a sip have a have a smell and that really gives you layers and layers of of uh, flavors mm. it's it's weird how you have different smoke experiences depending on the mm. distance of your nose to the glass mm. uh, very weird mm. 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 this is a well-made bomo whiskey i like it a lot mm. unfortunately this is not becoming a standard edition this is a limited edition and you will not find it for very long on the market. So if you see it, you might as well grab one. Yeah, I think we had seen some 21 year old in the past with different casks. Mm -hmm. uh, and from time to time, very seldom, they are 25 years old on the market and the 30 and 35 year olds are long gone. Mm -hmm. uh, so 21 years is the age uh, where you can see uh, bottlings. This reminds me of a time around the year 2000, the distillery of Beaumont uh, sold its blended whiskey business uh, out to, I think it was a management buyout and concentrated on single malt whiskies. Probably in the years to come, there might be more malt whiskies now available because they sold less for this in this bulk whiskey mm -hmm. uh, method yeah no yeah. so very nice whiskey have a look at if you find it it's uh, mm, uh steeply priced i would say <laughs> and yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time <laughs>